What's up you guys? I'm about to do another glow up, but this glow up is gonna be a Valentine's Day inspired. Whether you have a Valentine's or not, we're still gonna glow up. I'm actually about to go to the nail salon now and I was thinking of like doing my toes. They don't actually need to be like done with acrylic or anything, but I wanna add some hearts. Um, and I think I wanna do like pink tips, like some light, maybe pastel pink or baby pink tips and put some hearts on there, I'm thinking. I don't know, I haven't like fully decided. I've kind of come across a few ideas on Instagram, so I'm not exactly sure. We're wearing all pink today. Look at the cute little pink leggings, pink sweater. I actually already had the sweater and I bought one from Target that went with these leggings, but this one actually looks better to me. And the other one, I think I should've got a bigger size, but I already have this one. So I think I'm gonna take the other one back. Um, so let's go to the nail salon. Tell me what you say now, tell me what you say You said that you would come again You said that we would remain friends But you know that I do not depend on nothing or no one So why would you show up so uninvited Can just change my mind like that Please don't take this personal a while ago but my camera died and I had to charge them and then I realized I was charging it for like an hour but it wasn't plugged in properly yeah now I'm just charging it this one's finally charged so I'm checking in with you guys but I ended up making some food um this is like a hello fresh meal what's new I was literally starving and I was so tired but I was taking the longest break because I was uploading you know my nail video like I don't know if you guys can see at the top my emojis are dark I don't know why they're not showing like clearly if you guys know how to fix that let me know um maybe for next time because obviously I can't re-upload this no one's gonna re-like it you know what i mean so i was actually waiting on some products but i'm getting like i don't think they're gonna come in on time uh it was like some face products from Ilya that i really wanted to try i mean i wasn't gonna do it today so maybe um that's okay but my amazon package should be here soon and i have um like i want to wash my face but i really want to use the handcuffs and I just bought them from Amazon last night. So they should be here. Like it says it should be delivered by 6.30 and it's six o'clock right now. So I'm like, it could be any time now. What I wanna do actually is I wanna do these. Oh my gosh, I keep doing that. 
I want to try semi lash extensions or semi permanent lash extensions, however you say it. These are ones that I got and they're from Kiss. These are the curl ones. I also have these ones, which are the press on lash extension look. I think these ones already have, yeah, these ones say no glue needed, but I think I want to just add that glue onto these ones. I don't know how much I trust the no glue method. I think I'm gonna use this glue on with these ones and make them thicker. Um, and we'll see how that looks. Because I want to have pretty lashes um, when I leave tomorrow. Maybe I should do them tomorrow, right? That way I don't have to shower with them. Yeah, maybe I'll do these ones tomorrow and I will do my shower. I'm gonna do a shower and tan tonight. Um, and then, Hopefully my makeup comes tomorrow and then I can try it for you guys. I just had a shower. I really want to have a bath tonight and I do want to do self tanner. I have these two that I got from the store this past week. I got this one first. This is the Saint Tropez. This one is Berry Sorbet. So I've used Saint Tropez and I like their tanning mousse. So I might use this one. Um, I did come across this one randomly when I went to a Walmart. This is Glow Your Own Way, the OG Glow. It's darkest, but there's like two more levels, I think. I looked it up on TikTok. Iffy reviews. I still have to do like more research on how to use this because it's a gel. It's clear, you won't be able to see it when you're like putting it on your skin. So I think I'm gonna hold off on using this one. Let me know if you guys have tried this one before. I really wanna know what the levels are and what they look like. So let me know if you guys have tried it. I got like blemish stickers, um, some lash extensions, which I will be doing tomorrow. I think I already told you guys that. I have this eye mask and this rose gold peel off mask, which I will be doing while I'm in the bath. And then I have this cute little pink headband that I'll probably wear as well. I'm gonna make a sleepy girl mocktail. I've had this on my channel before. Need a wine glass. Squeeze a lemon. I love putting this. I just got this from the supermarket, but just for a little extra touch. How cute is that? Hmm. I'm gonna head to the bathroom so we can put on a eye mask, face mask, and we can get in our bath. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my mask while the bath is running. This is the Rose All Day Mask. I'll apply an even layer onto clean, dry skin, avoiding the eye area. We're also gonna put these eye gel masks on. So actually, we should probably put these ones first. These are the Hydrogel Eye Masks. They're pink, cute, with the cute little vibe we have going on. I'm gonna drink that drink so quick and then I'm gonna be like knocked out before I even do my self tan. No, I hope not actually. I love the way eye masks feel. Oh, it's two peel off masks. My camera's overheating already. Just crazy. Okay, we're gonna squeeze this out now. I feel like I'm gonna need two. Okay, look at this, you guys. How does one put this on? Nope, don't touch it with your hands. I don't know what this mask is doing, but... Let me know if you guys have used this mask before. It says just apply an even layer, but... This is so hard to apply. 
Look at my supposed to use a brush. I've never applied something like this. I mean, this is a really cool looking mask. I just don't see how it's supposed to do what I want it to do. I'll probably finish this mask and then I'll get back to you guys. My camera's about to die. Okay, so the mask is on. I'm just gonna get into the bath because I don't really know how this one goes, like especially because I'm gonna be going into the bath. I probably don't know about these eye masks. I don't know about this mask. It was really hard to put on. I don't know if it was just like, maybe this was an old batch. It was the last one in Rexall, so I don't know. Maybe I just got a bad one, but I'm gonna head in the bath now, relax for a little bit and drink my Sleepy Girl mocktail so that we can do our tan and go to bed because I'm tired. I'm gonna rinse my face in the other washroom and then I'm gonna come back here and we're gonna start cell tanning so I can go to bed because I'm tired. Don't mind my zit stickers, I just put them on while I'm doing this. I'm not touching the face at all, I'm just gonna go in with some moisturizer all over my body. This is a Sleep Hero Overnight Recovery Body Mask. I haven't used this one with tanner before. It's like a very jelly consistency. Should I be trying something new? Probably not, but, but here we go. It's like very jelly. I put it all over my legs as well. Maybe I shouldn't use it. Might have to wait a few minutes after I do this. Oh, and I saw this girl put like the tanner mitt on a hanger, which I have to grab so, so that I could properly do the back. So I'll be using the Saint Tropez Berry Sorbet and I'm gonna use the Saint Tropez mitt because I have the original tan and I like the mitt. You wanna make sure you're shaking this well. And I like to start from the feet up. Uh. This verse starts as my snipers hit their marks And your guards fall down from a rifle to the heart Like clap, clap, let them fall slow I know you had your fears, you could let them This does smell so good I'm gonna use this glow spray Help make everything even. When I really can't afford to be, I'll provide protection if you open up the door for me. Couple stairs, couple texts, couple dates, couple I think that we're ready. Couple I think we should wait. Are we acting like a couple? I'm just trying to get it straight. Cause I'm over here convinced that it's too early for mistakes and then. I'm gonna have some chocolate strawberries to finish off the night. You guys might've noticed I switched the mitt halfway through. The Saint Tropez mitt was ripped and my hand wasn't properly placed in there. So when I opened it, literally all my hand was green because of the self tanner. So I tried to like scrub it off. I mean, it looks fine right now, but you just never know until it's developed. So if this hand is messed up tomorrow morning, that is why. But anyways, we're gonna have some chocolate strawberries. Okay, it's the morning time. My tan's all on. I got my little cuffs. I got a pack of three, so I have blue, white, and then these pink ones. Of course, since we are Valentine's inspired, I'm gonna wear the pink ones. 
but the tan looks really good actually. The legs look so nice and tanned. The feet, they look good. I feel like I really have to figure out this bathroom situation because I feel like the lighting is really bad in both bathrooms. I mean, this one is probably better because it has this light here. Um, anyways, I'm gonna wash my face using these and I'm gonna let you guys know if they work. I'm using Panoxyl on my face. So I'm about to do the lashes. I just had myself a shower, put on this cute little sweatsuit and then this cute little Adidas crop, but I got water on it because my hair, so it's a little bit see-through. So we're just gonna ignore that. Don't mind the mess in the back. I was kind of like starting to put the um, stuff that I'm gonna pack onto the couch. So might look a little bit messy. I am kind of nervous to do these lashes, but kind of excited. As you guys can see, I have like some acne situations here. So I really wanna dry them out while I'm doing this. That way I could just wash my face and moisturize it and stuff well, on the plane so I'm gonna put this stuff on here I'm like sitting on a couch I think I should open the window because I'm like getting sweaty I mean it's probably because of this sweatsuit I don't know how bad this is gonna fall so I'm gonna put like a paper towel here I'm gonna use the kiss lash glue and I'm gonna put the glue in one of these pockets here and I'm just gonna go with it I think I'm gonna try oh I have um my team lashes as well my friend's like, are you doing a buffing? Because I was on FaceTime, but no, I'm doing my lashes and I just don't want it to go onto my shirts. So I have so many different lashes. I don't know what I'm gonna use. I'm kind of just gonna go with the flow. These ones are from Timu. Um, they look like that. I actually might use these ones and these curl ones. Um, these are from Kiss. These are pre-bonded, but I feel like, oh yeah, they only last 24 hours. So I actually want them to last, which is why I'm gonna use the Lash Couture Kiss Glue. Okay, I was watching some videos, or I'm like on TikTok kind of watching videos. I'm gonna use these ones, and I think I'm just gonna use these ones only. These just have like a thicker base, so I'm kind of scared to use them. And then these ones, I think are just too natural looking. I've seen them on the people that are using them on Instagram, or sorry, TikTok, and I feel like I just want more dramatic. So I feel like these ones will give me the look that I'm looking for. Um, they have already like glue on them. They're pre-bonded, but I think with me adding glue, it'll look better. So what I'm gonna do, I curled my lashes and I have extra tweezers just in case. And then I'm gonna put the glue here. I'm gonna do this one first. I'm starting with the short and then the shorts right here and medium and then long. Okay, we're doing under the lash. Okay, that's really cute. Okay, I'm gonna listen to a podcast while I do this. Wait, you guys, these are looking so cute. Hold on. Hold up. I'm gonna use small ones now. So far I did two mediums. I'm gonna do two smalls or one small, depends. What do you guys think? Cute. Okay, I think I'm going to cut half of this. Um, I'm gonna cut a small one, or should I put the full one? I think a full one is a little too much. I think I'm gonna half it. Um, no. I'm gonna cut the small one in half, and I'm gonna use the half. Maybe I should have went ahead and put like a longer lash here, but I'm kind of like, obviously I already put it on. I don't want to like ruin it, but I could have got away with putting a large and too small. I think would have gave me more of a cat eye because my, naturally my eye kind of droops. 
Um, but anyways, I'm gonna do this eye and then, yeah, I should be good to grr. Alright you guys, I'm all done the lashes. I don't know if I should put more in the inner corners. I think I'm gonna bring it with me and I'll keep you guys updated maybe in my next video. Leave a comment down below if you guys wanted to see how long they last cause after today I'm ending this video. But I'll try and let you guys know maybe in another maintenance vlog if I end up doing it again. I know I didn't do the best at putting it like under my lash but I don't know. We'll see how they work out. Let me know if you guys have tried these before. But anyways, I'm gonna clean up and I'm probably just going to do some skincare, put a little bit of makeup on. I think my makeup's here actually, hold on. Sweet. Literally doing an unboxing on camera and I'm talking to you guys and I'm like, wait, sorry, my balcony is open and there's always cops around here. I was doing an unboxing, I'm like literally talking to you guys and then my camera shuts off and I'm like, why is it shutting off? It's cause I never press record. Anyways, let's do that again. So I just got a package from Ilya. I was just showing you guys what I got. They did gift me this stuff to try out. So obviously I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I did hear that their products smell, but I, I tried the Super Serum Skin Tint at Sephora like on my hand and it looked really promising. And the smell wasn't that bad. Like I feel like a lot of people were saying it really smelled really bad. But to be honest, products like that, like I think people were saying that about the Fenty foundation. I had no issues with the Fenty foundation. I actually really liked that smell. I think it was the Fenty foundation. Um, anyways, I don't really have an issue with smell. I think it's because I don't really have like a sense of smell. Anyways, I was just going through what I have. So I have the Super Serum Skin Tint. I got two of them because I wasn't sure what color to get. So I got ST 9.5 Bakel and ST 11.5 Morgat. I'll let you guys know. I'm gonna try that out after I wash my face. I am so sorry about that sound, you guys. The sirens are going crazy. This is the multi-stick Shea Butter Orange Peel Wax of Avocado Oil in the mood. Wait, what is this? This is a blush, right? Yeah, it's like a blush. This is so small. I'm gonna try that as well. I also got the In Frame Brow Gel. It's just in clear. And then the last thing I got was the base face milk. So it's this one here. Really, really excited to check this one out. Lightweight moisturizer. Oh, it's very liquidy and it's a moisturizer. I'm very intrigued by that. We're gonna try all these products right now. Um, I'm gonna wash my face and then I'm just gonna see what these look like because I'm really excited. That way I can get myself together because I like to get myself together when I'm trying on clothes, when I'm packing. It makes it just easier for me to kind of like visualize what I'm gonna wear. So yeah, I'm gonna get myself together to do that and then who knows, I might take it off before I get on the plane because you know, I just wanna relax on the plane. It's an overnight flight, so. I don't know if I mentioned to you guys that I don't get direct sunlight in my place. And at first I was like, it's not really gonna be that big of a deal. But now that I'm like sitting here and this is the only spot that I feel like has the natural light to really beam on my face, I'm like, damn, I really should have got more in the south side or the east. I love the morning sun, which I really should have took into consideration. But my next place, I know for sure I'm gonna have that sunlight for sure. You don't realize you need it until it, you don't have it, you know? Um, anyways, do you guys see the situation we have going on? So we're really gonna test this. I know it's a skin tint, so it's not gonna be like a full on foundation, but we're just gonna see what it does to my skin. So using the face milk. Just pressing it onto your face. I don't really know how much moisture that's giving, but I irritated my nose as well because I don't have proper tissue to blow my nose and my nose was running this morning. So now it's like a little bit red. Okay, we're gonna go in. Why is this dirty? Did I just do that? This has sunscreen. It has niacinamide, squalene, and hyaluronic acid. I love niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. You guys know that. So I'm really excited for this one. Um, we're gonna start. I'm so sorry about these sirens, you guys. This is not going well. Okay, we're gonna try it. Oh, I think this is too light. Oh, that's too light. Okay. Oh, actually, it's not that bad. Hold on. That actually will work. I'm gonna try 11. Oh, I smell it now. Because 
it's a skin tint, I'm doing a brush because a beauty blender would probably just take off all the product. So I feel like a brush is like what you should apply this with. Or do people use their hands? I don't know. Okay, it definitely gives me that tint. I'm not gonna lie, it feels like foundation though. I feel like you're not supposed to use a lot, but here I am just putting more on. Like the whole purpose is it's not full coverage, but I'm just gonna put the 9.5 in the middle of the face. I'm just trying to do a little something. SPF 40 sunscreen. I don't know if this beauty blender is gonna take off the product. Well, that plane looks so close. I just finished off with blending it with my beauty blender. I know I said I wasn't gonna use a beauty blender, but I just didn't want it to feel too much like foundation. And I feel like that actually made it better. And I think it's only supposed to be like this. It's, I don't think it'll get any more fuller coverage. You guys, I have problem skin right now. So usually I don't really wear moisturizer or sorry, tinted moisturizers or anything like that because I just feel like they never look good on my skin, especially because my skin has like, there's dry patches, there's oily patches, Patches. and the smell isn't that bad like once I set it into the skin it doesn't smell but like when I first put it on I was like whoa I'm gonna try this I think it's a blush right multi stick oh multi sticks I'm gonna warm it up a little bit or would I put it with my hand maybe with my hand because I feel like the brush, it's like tapping away. Okay, this is cute. It's very subtle. I don't know if I got too light of a color. This is in the mood. Have you guys used Ilya? Very subtle blush. Kind of shocked that it's not more pigmented because I just feel like it should show a little bit more. And then the last thing I got was brow gel. Brow gel is brow gel. Oh, let you guys know how it lasts. $50 for this? Hold on. It's also for the lips, which is interesting. To be honest, you guys, I'm not like a no makeup makeup girl. Like when I wear makeup, I'm wearing makeup. I feel like it's because I have acne that I always want to cover it up. Just the no makeup look, they never look good on me because my skin will really pick it up and it just won't look good. So I'm like trying to put this on and I'm like thinking I need more. It's supposed to be buildable. So I'm adding more. Simply swipe and blend. It is just like skin, but for me, it's like, I'd rather just do no makeup, you know? But let me know what you guys think. I think the skin tint definitely helped with matching my face to my um, body since I did the self tan. I am just gonna add some powder. This is the Laura Mercier. I'm just gonna put some powder on this brush here because I just feel really oily. And when oil's on my face, it just, it's gonna form some, some sort of acne. It's all right. Not too bad after I powdered. I thought it was gonna pick up more of the dryness, but it is light wear makeup. So obviously not gonna cover my acne scars, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm still scared of transfer, to be honest, a little bit. Like if I have like a coat or like a sweater on, and like my skin touches and I'm worried about transferring. Last thing before I end today's video, I'm gonna get myself some flowers. So I really wanna get pink roses. So I'm gonna try to see if they have some at the supermarket and we're gonna get some flowers for ourselves because why not? I think it's important to still show yourself some love regardless of if it's Valentine's or not. You do not have to have a partner to celebrate it. So I'm gonna get myself some flowers. Um, I'm not getting any chocolate because chocolates make me break out. Well, I think they do, I don't know, but I love chocolates when I'm on my monthly and I'm not on it at the moment. So I don't really need chocolate, um, but I'm gonna get myself some flowers and I really want pink roses And yeah, if you guys feel like you guys want some flowers go out and get yourself some flowers You do not need to wait for anyone to get that for you You can still celebrate Valentine's if you want to celebrate with your girlfriends or your friends um, Whatever works for you or yourself. Obviously what I'm doing. I'm still doing all these things by myself But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna go grab some flowers and then yeah, that's pretty much the end of today's vlog all in my phone, I got options And I don't wanna tell you to drop me But I don't wanna play your fair Yeah, something That makes me look at you too often oh, Baby, you can give us something I love asking for brown wrapping paper. I feel like it just looks more like cute. I don't know. The other ones just look very cheap to me. I just got my order from Revolve. It came so quick. I returned um, some things from my last haul because I didn't try it on in the video, but 
um it was the black two-piece set the zip up and then there was like rhinestones around it well it didn't fit as good as i wanted it to so i actually returned it and then got a few more items which came in perfect timing like literally i'm packing and i really wanted this bodysuit for toronto so i think this is gonna be perfect that's what it looks like looks like that i think it's gonna be so cute and then i did get like a one-piece bathing suit i don't think i'm gonna try the bathing suit on for you guys but i can probably try on that bodysuit real quickly really really cute bathing suit has like a cutout right here maybe i will try it on that's actually really cute and then i got some heels from super down they're so cute like look at them i think i'm gonna take these with me because they look super comfortable to wear i'm gonna put these flowers in a vase Probably that same short one that I used last time. Hopefully it doesn't look too empty. Just like that. Okay, I think I'm done the flowers. I just took off a couple leaves. Honestly, I feel like maybe you're not allowed to take off the leaves with these ones because after I take off the leaves, they die. Is that weird? Or do these just die real quickly? Anyways, that's what they look like. They're super cute, super girly, super fun. Um, I'm gonna try on those Revolve clothes. Okay, this is the bodysuit. I absolutely love it. I knew it was gonna look really good with a nice tan. So this top is so cute. It's definitely coming with me to Toronto. This is a one piece, a lot of cleavage going on, but I really like it. I think it fits really nicely. I think this works as a nice top as well. I actually might take it with me. Um, these heels are so cute, especially with the French tip. I think it looks so, so good. And the heels are not that high as well. So this way. they're just so cute, you guys. I think I'm gonna take these with me um, because they're really comfortable. All right, you guys, that sums up my Valentine's Day glow up. Whether you have a Valentine's or not, you should still get yourself together and you should still think about celebrating for yourself, you know? Um, still show yourself that love. So let me know what you guys get up to, whether you guys have someone to spend it with or not. I wanna know what you guys do on Valentine's or if you guys even celebrate it in your relationship. Um, let me know and we can chat about it in the comments. But anyways, you guys, that is the end of today's video. Let me know what you guys think. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. If you do want to see any more videos from me, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.